Hi Taurus and welcome to your July 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky uh, talking to you today about the uh, month ahead of July. I hope that you're feeling really great. It is a, a late night reading here. I am working hard to get these out. Um, and thank you so much for being here, Taurus. I'm excited to talk about your sign because, um, yeah, this month for Taurus is kind of, um, you know, really changing the game. It's really uh, asking you to build uh, in a different way, really asking you not to worry or not to uh, postpone changes or transformations, and really also requesting you to um, not question your strength and to not question your capability in uh, getting some of your life better at this point in time or just naturally healing and evolving out of some of those previous uh, mindsets, okay? So, um, yes, as usual for this reading, Taurus, um, if you're new and you don't know, I like to talk about intuitive messages as well as the week to week for the month. And then I do an extended reading on Patreon, which will be uh, linked below. Um, if you're new, thank you so much for any subscriptions and for hitting the like button. It really helps this uh, channel out a lot. Um, and I hope that you enjoy uh, the reading. So where shall we start this evening? Um, so as I'm meditating on your energy, Taurus, I feel that you're not really looking at your success or you're not really looking at what's going well and it's important in july to really look directly at what has felt good what has gone well and what has succeeded okay it's a very challenging month to be obsessed with the negative to be cynical to be uh, feeling impaired by the past to be stuck in some type of never-ending um, story of failure because your sign is not a sign that deals with failure. Your sign is not a sign that really uh, fails or um, really gets derailed by trauma, okay? Um, so if there's anything of trauma or anything of feeling derailed or feelings of um, haplessness, I, th I don't think that it's real. I don't think that it's um, actually authentic. I think it has something probably to do with popular culture or has something to do with a group of people in your life who enjoy to uh, feel um, as if they are working through something all the time or enjoys... Uh, to feel challenged or um, has basically created a uh, sort of society around um, being uh, pushed down by others, okay, and then gossiping about it and, um, you know, enjoying that. So Taurus is not really about that, actually, but it's interesting, I think, how Taurus has really been maybe absorbed into these... Um, I don't know, these facets of people where it's like, I just want to feel as if I'm powerless. I just want to kind of mope. I just kind of want to be in a cesspool of, um, you know, uh, stagnation and, you know, to drink over it and to all that kind of stuff is um, leaving now. Okay. We've been kind of hinting at it. We've been talking around this for a little while for Taurus people um, where it's really, really imperative to... Um, not dig salt into the wounds or to not uh, find fault where none is or to not sort of be like a hammer seeking a nail. That's a really good way to put it, actually. Um, you know, like all the nails are in place, yet the hammer is seeking nails out of place. Like it's it starts to get really um, unnecessary and there's so many uh, better things your energy could go to. Upon this realization and upon the acceptance of one's own power and the acceptance of one's own humanity, I feel that this is a beautiful month. I feel that Taurus uh, retains so much opportunity or so many op new opportunities come in. I also think there's a celebration. I think you are given gifts this month. I think that people are um, requesting you out to dinner, perhaps, asking you out on dates, perhaps, or it could also just be platonic, like uh, people wanting to um, have a one-on-one -on -one dinner with you, and it's totally like platonic. Um, I think that people want to be around you. I think that your energy is just begging to be really like popular here, um, which is why we've really got to look at a rejection of that or a wish to still be isolated, a wish to still be around people who enjoy to 
feel as if they're powerless. So because th with that, there's a rejection of new people or a rejection of people who actually want to have you to be a part of their experience, which is much more in alignment with what you've actually truly wanted. So um, I, to put it <laughs> very simply, Taurus, you've got to really allow a nicer time, okay? I think that there's a little bit of a, what do I want to say? Okay, um, this happens to people sometimes where they get accustomed to a certain way of life, accustomed to, you know, uh, renting instead of owning, accustomed to, um, you know, only um, being in a certain like tax bracket, accustomed to uh, only uh, traveling or vacationing in a certain place. All of these sort of rigidifying things that we get so caught up in, you know, money, places, structures. This is all very Taurus stuff. And it's not what it's about right now for you, actually. It's very interesting. Um, for you, it is actually about displacing that or um, sort of uh, almost through like osmosis, moving into a different uh, bracket or into a different uh, place that you've never experienced, kind of pioneering a totally new frontier. And I just, I feel very hopeful about it for you. Uh, death reversed coming up, the hanged man reversed. It's like you're pushing against it so hard. This isn't every Taurus. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But if you can identify any part of you that is really pushing against a positive change, really resisting a better life, really resisting uh, people who are exactly who you want in your life, I would really look out for it. Because it might even be happening without realizing it. Again, Taurus is not a sign who really consciously self-sabotages, you know, whereas like Capricorn or Scorpio or Cancer can sometimes really get conscious with their own self-sabotage. Taurus, it's not so much. And you have to really pay attention to it. You have to really be on the lookout for it. It can come in really subtle ways. Like, you know, I just want to, you know, tonight I just feel like being comfortable and alone and, um, you know, doing something I enjoy. And I'm, I'm not going to go out with those people who are, you know, really, really great people, really great, solid people. I'm just going to stay you know, comfortable because I need some time to myself. That is sometimes the case, but um, I kind of feel like you've got to get some uh, difference now, or you've got to even go out on a limb for yourself or allow yourself the place or setting that you know is going to advance you. Because above all of this is an advancing or a an ascension, really. And Again, Taurus is a fixed earth sign, so it's kind of like even in a bad situation, you can um, fix yourself or uh, choose not to leave it just because of the perceived discomfort of change. And um, yeah, it's going, this month will will give a change and there's no need to push against it because it feels very positive. Okay, what else do we want to talk about before the week to week for Taurus? Um it's beautiful. Okay. Page of pentacles, four of wands, eight of wands, strength. People are celebrating you. People are really considering you or esteeming you in a positive way. There are a lot of new adventures, new hobbies, new streams of income, new, uh, very innovative things right here, which is why you need to be open, I think, to the universe's natural interventions okay and really be paying attention to those synchronicities because what is here is a beautiful month but i'm again death reverse the hangman reverse it's like some taurus just kind of want to you know make their own way and not really uh be deviated from the path that they think is right for them at this point in time or they'd very quickly go and eat dinner with this person who they already realizes like very problematic just because they know them and just because it's familiar instead of being with these very clearly solid people that you don't know too well yet. Um, so there's a want to maintain custom. There's a want to not be surprised or not risk that maybe these people who seem really stable might not actually be. And maybe this isn't like, there, like there's this kind of, I want to say there's this kind of, um, Okay, so th this might come off harsh, but it's not meant harshly. There's kind of this indignant rejection of anything with the assumption that it might uh, betray you. So we've really got to overcome fear of betrayal 
and um, the sort of like a self-mongering of worst case scenarios that really has to um, start to conclude here. But let's talk about the week to week Taurus. Um, in the first week of July, you've got the eight of pentacles reversed, rooted down by page of pentacles. Um, so working really hard, uh, creating new hobbies, creating new pursuits, new creative outlets are really good. And I will say that eight of pentacles reversed is coming up a lot this month. Many people are ready to move on with their career or many people are feeling tired of the previous output. And it feels that you in the first week of July can actually really have what feels better or start to create new sources of value, sources of wealth, um, sources of stability. So just explore. I think exploration in the first week and even the second week with death reversed rooted down by four of wands is uh, really good too. Um, in that second week, you want to allow the change, okay? Um, there's something that can really be inhibited, rejected, or dismissed. Um, a change can be sort of uh, unitarily canceled, okay? I don't think it's right. I think that you need to let it come through or you need to compromise with it in some way. Four of Wands can be a compromise. It can be a ceremony, um, marriage for some of you. Um, also moving or changing location, the need to ceremonialize an experience, the need to uh, make it all a little bit more um, real for yourself because there is definitely a big a change right on the uh, horizon. Okay. Third week, strength rooted down by eight of wands. I just love that. Um, that is so positive. So right at the cusp of Cancer and Leo season, Taurus is really getting their strength back, really having a lot more energy uh, because something might be exciting you. Something might be really uh, on the upturn. It seems that your creativity is at a pinnacle in the third week, and you actually have the ability to put pen to paper. You actually have the ability to um, not just keep it in the mind, but to actually channel it outwards. So think about what you want to really manifest. Like your manifestation output is so high in the third week that it's such a beautiful time to offset it. You know, vacations are really good, um, but also, you know, business or just like really putting your nose to the grindstone as well is good because it's like what you create in that time is really strong. So nothing but good in the third week. Fourth week, you've got the hanged man reversed, rooted down by uh, two of wands reversed. Uh, so as you create all of this, as you are manifesting so powerfully, it then tests all of the other facets of your life and all the other places where stagnation was or where we didn't quite want to move on yet or where we didn't want to really zoom out and see the real moral of that story where it was maybe easier to find blame or to blame ourselves, whatever. Um, we now see that none of that works like blaming that person only or blaming ourselves only. It doesn't work. It's a more complex situation. We've got to kind of just move on. We've got to be prepared in the fourth week as Taurus, I think to just allow that mental expansion to allow that, um, higher force, higher power to come in and make it all a little bit more sensical. So, you know, um, starting to make sense of it all, starting to uh, decompress or just stopping the constant repetition of previous problems. So any type of repetitive flashbacks, any type of um, remembering perhaps past experiences of other people, these are um, needing to be replaced with something more uh, beneficial. So you might consider how that can be done. You know, how can I start to replace this difficult loop with something that um, is meaningful to my life, okay? Uh, and you can't force it. Like, it, it kind of depends on what you're coming from. And if these are, like, recent experiences, that's a different story. What I'm mainly talking about here are, like, long-running issues that really have to start melting away at this point if you want any type of real solid progress that is not, you know, in a type of, like, field that deals with, like, trauma or psychology or um, anything really deep and shadowy like that. So this is really on top of all of this, you know, above all of this is a movement away 
from heavy constraining shackled realities and the choice to do so. The movement into very worldly, creative, inspiring, opportune wavelengths. But it can't happen if we're not light enough to actually follow that current, to actually kind of fly into that, you know? So the real challenge is to release the uh, heavy and unnecessary, keyword unnecessary, things of the past or self-fulfilling prophecies, uh, things that we've convinced ourselves about ourselves that mean that we can only do this or that, like all of those those um, uh, annoying things at this point in time really have to uh, move on. We got to move on with it. Okay. Anyway, Taurus, let's talk about that in your extended reading. Um, for those Taurus who have moved on from these things or are working or are, you know, putting one foot in front of the other and just, you know, letting it leave, you know, any of these uncomfortable things, you're going to see positive after positive experience come in. Uh, great, helpful new people and incredible like parties or ceremonies that help to um, solidify this new reality. Um, but let's talk in the extended reading about uh, allowing that in and about uh, getting stronger and more energetically uh, viable to face this incredible uh, latter half of the year. So thank you so much for being here, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the uh, late night uh reading for July. Um, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And let's jump over to Patreon now. It'll be linked in the center of the screen for the extended reading. Much love. Bye.